All right, here we go. <coughs> the name's Aaron Strange, and I like games. The good, the bad, the ones that are playing strange. Used to go out and raise the dead. Now I just play Nintendo instead. I'm going back, back again. I'm buying them all, even if it takes me selling my soul. Oh, oh, oh motherfucker. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. You saw the title card. It's gonna be another Halo episode. But hold on, before you change the channel, ask yourselves, when else in your lifetime are you gonna be able to say that you watched a video on the internet of some random fucking douchebag wearing a chick's pajama onesie suit while playing a Halo video game? Exactly, that's what I thought. So this time I gotta show you something that's awesome in Halo 5. Fuck the story, Fuck the competitive multiplayer. Instead, we're going to talk about the newly added custom games browser. And by newly added, I mean probably like three or four months ago because who the fuck knows when this fucking video is going to be finished. Back in the day, most of the Halo games had wicked customizable options for playing multiplayer. You could alter the gameplay and play whatever the fuck you want, basically. Like racing around in vehicles and shit, because who the fuck wants to play a first person shooter to play a first person shooter? Fuck the rules. I personally think Halo Reach, hands down, had some of the best fucking custom games. Like this one called Jump Rope, where a bunch of players are on this rope thing, and the enemy players drive vehicles off a ledge trying to knock them off. There's literally fucking hundreds of mini games just like this that you can play with your friends. Setting up custom game nights was fucking awesome as shit. As we all get older though, and free time is harder to come by nowadays because some of us have kids, or eight jobs, or some fucking crazy shit like that, so trying to get 15 other friends together online at the same time isn't as easy as it used to be. So a while ago, because, like I said, who the fuck knows when this episode's gonna be done, Halo 5 came out with a browser for custom games. Holy fuck! Just scroll through all these online sessions and see if there's room and you can hop right in. And that's what she said. Why the fuck would she say that? The fuck? Bill? Aaron? Bill? Aaron? Okay, the joke's dead. No, seriously though, I have a question. Guy's been here fucking five seconds, and he's already hit me up like it's the fucking Spanish Inquisition. Right. Anyway, what's the question, you pain in the ass? Are you wearing women's pajamas? Yes, I am. We already established that joke like fucking five minutes ago. Dick. Okay, then. Next question. Yes, dear. What is it? Can I play Halo 5 with you? You know... Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be actually fun as fuck. Oh, but there's one problem. We're gonna have to take turns. Because for the first time in fucking Halo history, the developers cut out split screen. From a fucking Halo game. Rolls eyes. Rolls eyes. Yeah, you weren't rolling your eyes. Yeah, I was. Nope, you totally weren't. Here, I'll do it again. Rolls eyes. Still not seeing it. Well, put on your glasses. How about you take your fucking mask off? How about you take those pajamas off? What, are you hitting on me now? You wish. Eh, I do have a few fetishes, but unfortunately for you, hooded dwarves from hell aren't one of them. Surprisingly. What the hell are you under there anyway? Not sexually. You know, it's been so long, I don't even remember anymore. 
Whoa, alright, this thing got deep really quick, and we're on like page six of the script, so let's get this fucking thing started. That's what she said, that's what she said, and that's what she said. That doesn't even make... Actually, actually, yeah, all three of those were valid. Alright, so here, let's start with something everyone should find a little bit familiar. Someone or some people remade, like, all the maps from Goldeneye on the N64. What the hell is Goldeneye? You know what fucking Goldeneye is. Everyone does. Look at this shit. They, like, painstakingly rebuilt the levels piece by piece in Halo 5's Forge Mode. And before you ask, because I know not everyone is into Halo, Forge Mode is where people can build their own levels and shit. Very interesting. Except stupid. Shut up. And stop getting yourself killed. You're using my profile, you little douchebag. You're gonna make me look bad. Well, you're already wearing pajamas meant for the opposite sex, so how much worse could you possibly look? Oh, please. Have you seen my ass in this onesie? It's amazing. Don't be jealous. Oh, I am not. Oh, shit. Nice assassination, fucker. Thank you, Mr. Strange. Speaking of Strange, which is clearly a fake name, you're living up to that fake name you gave yourself by wearing that onesie, I might add. Oh, aren't you just fucking hilarious? Why does it say Chud underneath your name, by the way? It's like your service name or something. Yeah, but what the hell is Chud? I don't get it. You've never seen Chud? You've been living in my house all these fucking years and you've never seen Chud. It's a horror movie. It stands for Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dweller. Ringing a bell? No, not at all. Also, one of the fucking 57 drummers that played for the Misfits, his name was Dr. Chud. Little factoid for you. That time it stood for a Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Drummer. I think. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't know everything. You definitely got too much time on your hands. Uh, no. Actually, I have no free time. I'm just a library for useless information like that. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> go fuck yourself. What in the fuck is Mongoose Sumo? Oh, shit. Yeah, I know it sounds like some fucked up porno, but it's not. Damn it. <laughs> I know, right? In Mongoose Sumo, Everyone's on quads, and they gotta ram each other off a platform that gets smaller and smaller. Still sounds like a porno to me. Damn, I've never played it with 16 people. Wow, this is fucking chaos. You sure it's still not pornography? Dude, if you're aroused, just go away and use your phone to jerk off like everybody else. Oh, we're on the magenta team, by the way. Now we're playing minotaurs with, like, 13 people. Usually it's only 8. You gotta run around and avoid the people who are hunting you down in these giant robot suits. So, it's kinda like running away from dirty prostitutes with STDs. Exactly. But even sexier, the prostitutes are big robots. Yeah, we get the joke. Now don't butcher it. See? Alright, now you're infected, so it's your turn. You gotta hunt down the rest of the survivors. Oh, I remember this thing. They were in that Halo 4 episode that you and I did together. Oh yeah, I remember. That's where you team killed me, you fucking cockbag. Alright, moving on. This one's different. Now we're like miniature and we're fighting around in some little kid's room. Like with toys or something. Jesus! What do these fucking kids never leave the house and play nothing but Halo all day? They keep killing me. Yep, that's pretty much the joys of online gaming. Welcome to the internet. What the? Is that what I think it is? A giant toilet? Oh, yep, this is an old one too, from I think Halo Reach or Halo 3. Anyway, we all sit inside this toilet bowl, and we gotta kill the players jumping out from underneath the pipes. So that's supposed to be like poop, or pee, I don't know. Whatever. This is, uh, this is a really messed up game. Yeah, uh, pretty much. That's, that's why we're playing it. Ew, the toilet looks poopy on the inside. I have a random question. Alright, what? Why are you wearing women's pajamas exactly? Like, for real. We never dug into the actual reason. Because clearly I'm pretty fucked up, okay? I don't know. Okay, this one's called Order 66, so clearly it's gotta be Star Wars related. I've never played this one before. Why are we all colored white? Because either the game's racist, or we're supposed to be clone troopers or something. No idea what's going on. 
No idea what's going on. I am totally lost. Yep, fuck this. Moving on. Oh my sweet, sweet magenta fuck. Look at all these Mario Kart levels. Who plays first person shooters to race around instead of killing each other? Fucked up people like me, alright? We already established that in the first fucking minute and a half of this episode. Holy shit. This level's burning my eyes. Yeah, this is Rainbow Road from one of the 700 Mario Kart games. I'm not sure which one. Jesus fucking Christ, you're right. This is bright as hell. No, I was talking about your outfit, actually. Oh my god, would you drop that shit already? Moving on again, we got another classic called Duck Hunt. Did you just tell me to duck and then call me a cunt? Get it? Because if you say duck hunt really fast, it could be misinterpreted and sound like you're saying duck cunt. Yeah, that joke was about as fucking classic as that fake ass beard you had in episode 21. Well, you actually had the same beard, so I got nothing. And you got nothing. Actually, you know, speaking of episode 21, how the hell did you end up out of that fucked up dimension? You mean the one with your shitty artwork floating around in the background and out of space? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that would be the one. <coughs> Asshole. I was gonna ask you the same thing. What, how did I get out? Yes, dumbass. Well, you know, that's a story for another day. Oh, and uh, by the way, in duck hunt mode, everyone is yellow, and we gotta work together to run through this escalate an obstacle course where a sniper's on the other end of the level and he tries to take us out one by one. It's actually pretty fucking fun. Fascinating. Now, aren't you gonna ask me how I made it out after the Black Manta episode? Well, I already asked, but yeah, the audience might want to know. How the fuck did you manage to escape, you spry little motherfucker? That's a story for another day. Okay, that was my joke, you son of a bitch. Was it, Aaron? Was it really? Yes, because I wrote it, so give me the fucking controller. Thank you. Oh, fucking beer pong? I don't even drink in real life, this should be fun. Just a bunch of jumping around and people on my own team knocking me off the level. Yeah, I don't get it. Give me that, I wanna play again. Oh, that one's called Red Rover. Yeah, let's try this one. Okay, I think in order for our team to score, we gotta push through these tanks to get to the other side. So it's like a literal version of, uh, why did the chicken cross the road? Wow, that was a really horrendous joke. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad, I apologize. <sighs> Wait a minute, I just had an idea. That's never a good thing. Fuck yourself. So after episode 21, you know, the Black Manta one. Yeah? I remember you, me, and Max crashing his car somewhere in that alternate dimension. Yeah, I remember that. So every little detail is kind of foggy, but the basic gist of the situation is that we all got separated, right? I'm pretty sure Max is still lost out there somewhere by himself. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. We should do like a pre-sequel to episode 21, where we sit around a campfire or some shit, and we tell the stories about how the two of us made it out. Hmm. Alright, that kind of sounded like I said we made out together, so how about, let me rephrase that. Okay, let me read back the script. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. We should do like a pre-sequel to episode 21, where we sit around a campfire or some shit, and we tell the story about how the two of us escaped. I like it. I like it. And then some other time, we should, uh, we should probably actually go rescue Max, because, you know, it's, uh, kinda been a while. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe we should do that soon. I kinda feel bad. I know, I do too. How's that for foreshadowing, huh? Yeah, but that's only if the audience wants to see something like that. Yeah. The audience. That's you guys. They wouldn't really be game review episodes. More like mini-movies. Eh, fuck it. Do it anyway. Yeah, we'll put it on the list. Speaking of alternate dimensions, why the hell am I in this level? Like, I'm literally in the level right there. Oh shit, yeah you are, but you're in like pixelated Super Mario Bros. 2 form. Which we better be careful, we don't want to get sued by Nintendo for mentioning that. Hey look, I'm shooting at you, Bill, you fuck. Wow, why didn't you tell me how you really feel? Oh wow, look, another one. There's a bunch of me. Or in other words, 
I think you mean hell. That's just fucking great. Hey, that looks like my cousin Phil. Well, enough of that shit. Okay, and now I'm playing fucking basketball? The fuck? I'm playing basketball in a first-person shooter. How fucked up is that? Like, fucked up in a good way? Yeah, I fucking hate sports, but this is actually fun as fuck. Oh shit, assassination, motherfucker. Take that, NBA Jam. See, alright, if this is what sports were like in real life, I'd be a fan. So, if athletes had space marine armor, laser guns, and stabbed each other? Yeah, of course. Why else? You got issues, kid. <laughs> you have no idea. And we just won? Wow, I actually won at sports. Who the fuck would have thought? Alright, I think that might be enough haloing for tonight. Is that even a word? It is now, so shut up. Well, I never really know how to end these things. I'm hungry. Let's go get some pizza or something. You know, Bill, that actually sounds like a pretty good and fucking delicious idea right about now. Yeah. You're, um, you're uh, gonna change your outfit, right? Not on your life, gorgeous. Ugh!